Thanks for joining us tonight. It was a pivotal moment in the murder trial of Derek Chauvin. Today, the Hennepin County Medical Examiner, who performed the autopsy on George Floyd and ruled his death a homicide, took the stand. Danny Spiewak joins us live. Danny, experts agree Dr. Andrew Baker may be the most critical witness in this case. Well, this was such key testimony today because the cause of death in this case is going to be so important for the jurors to consider when it's all said and done. And today we saw Dr. Andrew Baker, the chief Hennepin County Medical Examiner, testify that his opinion really hasn't changed since he did that autopsy last May of 2020. He says that in this case, this homicide, as he ruled it, is primarily brought upon by law enforcement restraint, which included neck compression. And he said that the adrenaline that George Floyd would have had in his interaction with Minneapolis police that night would have played a role. And what that adrenaline is going to do is it's going to ask your heart to beat faster. It's going to ask your body for more oxygen so that you can get through that altercation. And in my opinion, the, the law enforcement subdual restraint and the neck compression was just more than Mr. Floyd could take by virtue of that, those heart conditions. You, you will notice there that Dr. Baker mentioned heart conditions. Eric Nelson, the attorney for Derek Chauvin, jumped on that angle, noting that Floyd had high blood pressure, narrowed arteries in his chest, as well as meth and fentanyl in his system. Baker acknowledged that those played some role, but he said those weren't the direct causes in his opinion. But it's important here because Nelson is trying to create reasonable doubt for the jury on Chauvin's responsibility. In terms of the placement of Mr. Chauvin's knee, um, would that explain anatomically why Mr. Floyd, would that anatomically cut off Mr. Floyd's airway? In my opinion, it would not. And before Dr. Baker testified this morning, we heard from his former mentor, the person who trained him in Hennepin County and has known him for years. That was Dr. Lindsay Thomas. She was a little bit more forceful in her testimony, believing that it was asphyxia, meaning loss of oxygen that killed Floyd as he was being pinned under Chauvin. You'll hear from her coming up at six. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Danny.